Hey everyone and welcome to another boss battle. This time around we're going to be taking a look at the mini event boss that's currently live on PC and that is the Razorback. The Razorback originally came in as part of the Divine Will Tactical Alert quite some time ago and was added as the Corpus Retaliation when the faction invasions got their rework. For it to spawn the invasions, helping the Corpus has to be run a certain amount of times by every single Tenno on the server. This is not an individual effort that you can do on your own. But when it does spawn, you will get a mail in your inbox from the Lotus giving you a Razorback Cypher to build and that is to access to the Razorback mission. This will require a resource that is only obtainable during the Razorback event, Cryptographic Alu. The mail will tell you exactly where to farm this. For example, this time around the drops came from Arcwing missions on Jupiter and Neptune. There's nothing specific that you need to do, just kill enemies and it has a chance to drop. I suggest using the Itzal with its Cosmic Crush ability to make sure you don't miss any. Plus, personally, I had a double drop chance and double drop amount booster running for this farm. It's not required, but it does make a nice difference. Now onto the boss itself. It's actually a pretty simple fight. There really isn't a lot to it. To start off with, the Razorback will be completely invulnerable, meaning obviously you cannot damage him at all. So to be able to take him down, you are going to have to find a way to make him vulnerable. Well, at either end of the room, you will have two platforms with hacking panels on each both corresponding to laser grids in the corner of the room. Behind these lasers, a bursa will spawn. These bursas are the only way to make the Razorback vulnerable. What you do is you hack the panel to drop the lasers, at which point the bursa will stop whatever it's doing and will drop down to the main platform. You can now damage the bursa to the stage where you can hack it. Once it's hacked, the bursa will shoot the Razorback, causing it to drop down and making it vulnerable, at which point you can make sure you do as much damage as you can. Then, it's pretty much just rinse and repeat until the boss is done. During the fight, the Razorback has three main attacks you should watch out for, since these can really cause a few issues if you forget about them. Firstly, is if you get too close to him, he's going to raise his leg up and stomp the ground. That sends out a huge shockwave and will knock you down. While knocked down, you're obviously unable to fight back, so on squishier frames, that could actually be the end of you. The second attack to watch out for is where he will send out a bunch of orbs towards you. They're going to actually link to you and will deal damage over time with a chance to set you on fire. There isn't a huge amount you can do about these fireballs to be honest except move away from them once they stop moving so you can break that beam. Once again squishier frames might have a problem with these but tankier frames don't really need to worry about them at all. The final attack you need to be wary of is his rocket barrage. He will fire a bunch of homing missiles out and that will do some serious damage if they hit you. The tactic here is just to try and use the pillars to line of sight the missiles, trying to get them to hit those pillars. If you get hit with this barrage, it's often certain death for some of the squishier frames. Tankier ones might be able to just face tank the barrage, but it's good to get in the habit of avoiding these in case he comes at a much higher level next time around, where he might just be able to nuke even the toughest of frames. Um, one quick thing to note, try not to fall off the platform, of the uh, side of the platform. If you land on the floor down there, you're going to take a bunch of electricity damage. If you don't get out of there quickly, you can die really rather quickly. So either just try and avoid it or jump out as soon as you can. There are also some additional units, some adds to deal with. Sniper crewmen on the top gantries around the arena. And then they will throw Rattel spawners down onto the main arena platform. And that's going to cause quite a few Rattels to be attacking you at once. So I would deal them fairly quickly before they become a problem. Now, one thing you all mentioned in the comments of my Captain Vore video is you'd like me to talk a little bit about elemental weaknesses um, for the bosses to give you an idea of what to mod for when you're taking down the boss easier. It's a fantastic idea. Thank you all so much for that one. The most effective way to deal with the Razorback is with radiation damage, which is strong against both his armor as well as the robotic health he has. I wouldn't worry about the shields at all, but honestly... If you're going to go with a three elemental mod setup, I would go with radiation and cold. This does mean you're going to struggle a little bit about the non-robotic corpus uh, for the most part, like get, you know, getting up to the boss and dealing with the ads around. So I would make sure to have a corpus killing secondary to deal with those units as well. So I hope you enjoyed my quick look at the Razorback mini event boss. I know there's not a lot uh, more time left on this spawn. However, now you'll have a good idea of how to defeat him next time he comes along. Like last time on the last video, if you have any feedback on how to improve this series, feel free to let me know. I don't want to give you and, you know, go into individual strats of how to kill the boss. I want to give you 
I want this to be something where you know and understand the boss and his mechanics, and then try out your own strats to see how you take them down the best. That's why I haven't really talked about how to insta-kill the Jackal, which actually is possible. But for now, many thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.